Hey there, this is Atul from Team K21 Academy and in this video, we are going to cover how to install and configure Microsoft Visual Studio Code Editor for Terraform. Now, just to give you a little bit background in terms of this step is totally optional and but it's highly recommended if you're doing the coding or writing the code or even if you're using an existing code and you are just modifying the code, it will always be better to use an editor and you can use editor of any choice. But our recommendation based on what we have used for our customers and what I use frequently and what we recommend is Visual Studio Code. Having said that, if you're a complete beginner and you don't want to start with Visual Studio, you can begin with a very basic. You don't need anything. You don't even need to do anything on your laptop. You can directly go to the cloud and use Cloud Shell. Now, just to give you a background on what is a Cloud Shell, I've taken an example and I'm going to show you from both or all three AWS, Azure and Oracle point of view. What this Cloud Shell means is you get an editor or a shell, which is like here, uh, it's similar to when you're in a machine, Unix machine, or uh, you're doing something, you're, do, you're getting a browser on which you can do all your, uh, write your code and uh, execute it directly onto the uh, onto the cloud account itself so this is a shell if you click on this here cloud shell this will open a window and whatever code you're writing you can directly install or run it here so this is from aws you will see a minute here you simply uh, you're getting a command prompt here similarly if you're doing an azure on azure you have a cloud shell like this here you click on this it'll open and you can write your terraform code here uh, directly so on Oracle, same thing. You go on to the cloud shell here on this tab here and you can write your code here. So let it come and I'll show you in a minute here. Now it's validating. Now the advantage of using cloud shell is that you don't need to install then any utility like Terraform CLI, command line interface or Azure CLI or anything on your laptop. You're doing directly onto the cloud account on the browser. But the disadvantage is that you don't get very all the benefits you get in terms of editing uh, syntax highlighter, highlighter, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Also, you won't get um, the uh, all the formatting, etc. And you won't be able to, it will be very difficult to work if you're an advanced user of Terraform or if you're working in a team doing it directly on Cloud Shell. That's why Cloud Shell is fine from a beginner's point of view, but may not be good for a advanced point of view. So uh, this is the shell you seeing in Oracle Cloud here. Now you can write your Terraform, which we'll cover in a separate next lab. Uh, similarly, this is for AWS and here in Azure as well, you have shell. You can directly write your Terraform and you get a complete directory. So if you see, you can PWD. So, and you can do directory here. Let's, And this is my directory and I can create my file and edit the file here as well. So this was just to show you, you don't need uh, the uh, Visual Studio code. It's recommended, highly recommended if you want to go on an advanced level or you, you're writing the code for a longer term. So just to, where do you get the Microsoft uh, Studio code or Visual Studio code? You just Google on Microsoft Visual Studio, you'll get a code.visualstudio.com and click on download and you can download it depending on what operating system or what laptop you're using or what operating system you're using for it on your laptop. So I'm using Windows and now click on Windows 8, 10, 11 and you will be able to download here on depending on it will automatically download. So it will automatically identify what is your operating system um, or what version we, we, or, of Windows it is. Similarly, if you are on Mac or if you're running on Linux, you download accordingly. Uh, based on your laptop. So once it's downloaded, it's quite simple and straightforward. Just click on executable and you should have a admin privileges on your laptop to install this. Once it's installed, I'm going to show you then one plugin which will be showing you on Terraform or Terraform plugin, how to install that. So uh, first is you say agree to terms and conditions, click on next and then rest all is next, next, unless you want to change your installation location to some other place. So I'll simply click on next and click on install. Click on finish once it's installed, it will open up the launch uh, Visual Studio.
Now, once you get the release notes, you can close the re uh, release notes. And this is the editor now you get. And as we go into the respective uh, modules, I'll explain you a little bit more on how to do work on this uh, Visual Studio Code if you're a complete beginner. But one thing before we move forward is to install an extensions. And this is basically extending the Visual Studio Code depending on why or what tool you're using. This Visual Studio Code is used widely for different purpose. We are want to use it for Terraform. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an extension for Terraform and from which is given by HashiCorp. So I'll create a, if you search here, there's a HashiCorp Terraform, which is a syntax highlighting and auto completion on Terraform. So when we are writing modules or when we are writing uh, resources, all those things, it will automatically suggest you based on your some type, some keywords, it will automatically suggest you uh, those code for you. And also if there is any syntax issues or syntax highlighters, it will highlight that. So highly recommend you to install this plugin or extension. And click on install it will be it will install and then it will automatically start using it i'll show you later so that's one now once it's installed it says uh, it's it will be installed here now another thing is that open the directory so if you go where your code is going to be stored so i'll say file and say open the folder this is the folder on which you're going to um download or have your all all your code so i'll click on the download or whatever code you want to click on maybe the documents and in that I'll create a new folder here so by default you create a folder where you're going to keep all your Terraform code so you write Terraform and within Terraform what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a three folders and one for Azure one for uh, AWS and one for Oracle and then you use those that's where we'll be classifying or storing our code so for now I'll just say select the folder And then uh, basically this is a uh, whatever warning you're getting read this and then decide whether you want to select this or not so we'll say trust the authors of all the files in the parent document doc. say yes i trust this and now you have all the code here you'll all the all subdirectories directories will be uh, will be using it here and any files that we use later or the, the Terraform files we are going to give you, those are will be visible. So as we move forward in the next lessons, you will see the code and how to use this Terraform Visual Studio code uh, going forward. So just to do a quick recap, what we have learned is that you can write your Terraform code directly on the cloud shell and you don't need anything on your laptop, not even a uh, Terraform CLI, nor do you need the any editor you can directly write it here using these cloud shells but it's it's for complete beginner if you really want to use or make use of or you're going to use terraform and writing codes uh, you need to pick a Terra, uh, editor of your choice which highly recommended it is visual studio code now in that visual studio code once you've installed install a plugin which is hashicorp terraform for syntax highlighting and auto completion and then later we'll be using a folder in that folder we are going to copy all of our code and we'll start building or um, creating or provisioning cloud resources on aws azure oracle depending on which cloud you're working on with that this is atul from team k tonin academy if you've completed if you've come so far install the visual studio code and inform in our whatsapp group that you have completed it this will tell me that you're making progress and you're following the videos as well as it will inspire others in our group to do these laps as well. With that, I'll see you in another lesson. Well, that was one of the video lessons taken from our training program, Terraform for Beginners certification, including extensive hands-on labs for completing or creating or automating your cloud build for various clouds, be it Microsoft Azure Cloud or AWS Cloud or Oracle Cloud. If you're a complete beginner, or have just started on Terraform or you're already working on Terraform, but you're not yet certified, I would like to invite you for a approximately 90 minute free class on Terraform for beginners, where we'll talk about cloud DevOps, cloud and cloud DevOps, cloud automation tools. And then we'll talk about uh, uh, doing what this infrastructure as a code IAC means and Terraform for beginners, 
what and why and who should learn this. We'll also be talking about Terraform certification uh, from Hashicorp. So if you're interested, um, then I would register for a approximately 90 minute free class by going to URL ktoninacademy.com forward slash Terraform02. And we'll be also doing a demo on deploying a virtual machine on AWS cloud using Terraform. And you can use that code to kickstart your journey if you have not started on Terraform yet. So all you need to do is select the date of which is convenient to you over the next one or two days, and then enter your name and email address and click on save my seat. And then I'll see you in the free class on Terraform.